Um, while you hunt for those delicate, uh, melt-in-your-mouth mousy morsels, there are places you should not go, for, for fear of death. The Reaper lives here, just like you and I. And just like you and I, he must ingest the living flesh of those less fortunate than you. There is a small place that I do not want you to visit, even on your holidays. Because it is dark and evil place that I've been. When the darkness has overwhelmed my small decaying mind, some bad things flowed from my mind and through my pen. The brilliant blue ink itself seemed to turn to blood into my grace. And by the way, should you turn techish, red is at its finest sautéed with a little engine oil. <laughs>
rather uncomfortable here. How far away are you? You cannot be far. I am held captive by a wall of stone in the northeast of the mine. As in any drama, there are many roles to be played. You must act the scientist in mixing potions, act the renegade in plots of destruction. On your travels for the tools with which you will fashion my recipe, you may discover the place of my life. Be careful. The shiny, solid floor of water is not as solid as it seems. Poor Red was almost swallowed whole. The two foolsy men who plummeted into my domain have long been to but though not I expect from whence they came. I ate ravenously of thy pet meat that day, uh, but Red promises feasting only began when the men became pungent. When the stench of life had gone, and only the sweet aroma of decay remained. Fashion, fashion, fashion. 